you may have seen the razzmatazz that went with the launch of the Blazer F-16. A German-made shotgun for the sporting shooter. Well, forget the pyrotechnics, we are at a playground to find out about the Forsprung Dirk techniques. This is the press launch at the E.J. Churchill Playground in Buckinghamshire, where the reptiles, whose reviews you read in the shooting press, get actually to shoot. First of all, if you look at the, the marketplace, it's homing in on. You know, you've got some very big, well-known brands and guns and stuff like the, the Browning 725 and the Beretta 690, the 692. You know, big names, well-established, huge followings. Um, all of a sudden, you've got a Blaser product in that price territory. Um, I think from the from the, the kind of competition side of things, I think the contemporary looks are going to be a big appeal. It, it looks great, you know. It doesn't pretend to be anything other than what it is. You know, well engineered, modern. Um, you know, it, it's bang on the money. The fit and finish looks great on it. Uh, I haven't had a chance to really have a play with the, the competition model. Mostly shot the game on today, and, and I thought it was, it was excellent. Um, even though it was a right hander, and I always use that as an excuse for my appalling shooting. Um, the trigger pulls are so crisp. You know, there's a blazer feature across. You know, the rifles and their shotguns. Uh, really nice, uh, lively gun, but not too much. Um, and yeah, I enjoyed it very much. Until now, the only shotgun on Blazer's books has been the F3. Top British shot John Bidwell helped design that and has backed Blazer ever since his well-documented split from Browning. I shot the 30-inch Sporter. I found it um, a little bit lighter than the F3 and I thought it really balanced was spot on. Um, I liked it because of the uh, flexibility of the gun. It handled the long targets uh, really, really well, as, as they always do. And uh, also you got the flexibility to shoot those little targets which have got the speed and angle element to them. So I think, you know, if a bit has sport and it's a perfect thing for the job. And um, that's what I like to shoot, the lighter type of gun, and I've always said it. Robert Seitz of Blazer explains what this shotgun is all about. Well, we've got a very, very dedicated clay gun. The F-16, as you know, comes in two variations. It comes as a sporter as well as a game gun. But for the for the clay market, we have added some features that we know from the higher-end sporters, which are barrel balancer system, a stock weight system, and an adjustable trigger for length. No gun fits everyone, and gun writer Vic Harker reckons he can improve the F-16. I was putting a comb razor on the stock to raise the elevation of my eye above the rib because the stock as it was was too low and if it's too low you can't see the target and you're not pointing the gun where you should. Too low a comb means you're shooting low and so the comb razor is not for everybody and don't go out and buy one if you can see what you're doing but if you can't see what you're doing by that I mean you're shooting low and you're not getting a good sight picture do think about elevating your eye above the rib sufficiently to be able to do so. so Chris, Chris, were you criticizing the gun? No not at all the stock dimensions you, you can't criticize stock dimensions they're all different and, and so uh, obviously um, some are going to be better for you than others. Um, it's something you have to check out. So will the F-16 be a hit or a miss with clay shooters? You can judge for yourself. The gun is heading for the shops at the big sporting grounds including Doveridge and EJ Churchill and you can see it at the Northern Shooting Show on the 7th and 8th of May 2016 at the Great Yorkshire Showground in Harrogate. For more about the F-16 go to blaser-sporting.com.